guys, welcome back to the channel. So, some recent news happened. Dr. Disrespect uh, got banned, permanently banned from Twitch. Uh, we're going to check that out. It was a scare story that was uploaded like 30 minutes ago. And, you know, it's funny, Drama Alert beat scares to it. It's so funny to see those two uploading at the same time. One day, the freaking Logan Paul scares drama alert all uploading the same day. I've never seen that before. Twitch today. And many people felt like this was a temporary ban. People thought maybe this was a 24 hour ban because he shared copyright music on a stream or something. But it turns out that Donna Disrespect was permanently banned on Twitch. That's right. Who God, man. Yeah. Telling the Dr. Disrespect has been permanently banned, and he says that it is not for DMCA takedowns. So why else could Dr. Disrespect be banned on Twitch? Because if you get banned, you have to do some pretty bad offenses here. Well, Shannon from CNN tweeted out here saying, "This statement on the Dr. Disrespect ban. As in our process, we take appropriate action when we have evidence that a streamer is acting in violation of our community guidelines or terms of service. These apply to all streamers, regardless of status or prominence in the community. So apparently." has evidence here that Doc did something bad and they are now banning him for this. Now many people are obviously asking what is going on here, what did he do? And people start to compare this to Lenny because Lenny has done a lot of questionable things on Twitch, which obviously has evidence of her doing these awful things, but she has not been permanently banned off the platform. So Lenny was actually trending on Twitter today because people were upset that she is not banned on Twitch, but Dr. Disrespect is permanently banned. Now an ex-Twitch staff member known as Shannon tweeted this out. She says, from my own sources, Doc is indeed done and not just on Twitch. I know why and I cannot say, but this is serious. Jake from Esports Talk tweeted out saying, with Twitch's punishment and bans being issued for violations in the past couple of days, I really hope that Doc's ban isn't correlated in any way. I have no reason to believe it, but it does make you think. The massive streamer Carnage tweeted out saying, with Dr. Disrespect, a lot of reputable sources are saying that he is permanently banned. Not a single one of them has said why. So slow down on defending and making statements. Wait to hear it for him, Twitch, or someone directly involved. Now the streamer Tim the Tadman came out on the stream and said that he spoke with Doc, and apparently Dr. Disrespect didn't even know what was going on at the time. He was talking with Twitch to figure out what was wrong here. Just watch this. Yeah, I don't know, chat. When I was talking to Doc, he just said, all he said was he was talking to Twitch to figure out what happened. This That's is it. insane. Can't believe Freaking yeah, what the doctor fuck? disrespect that, that is getting all, that removed. That was all he said to me was like, I, when I messaged him, I was like, like, what's going on? He goes, I don't know. I'm talking to That's all he told me. So I don't know. Two three out saying, Twitch has banned this and it's kind of all over the place. So we will see what happens with Doc. We need to wait for an official He's statement. Now, now it just came out that Dr. Disrespect's emotes are gone off of Twitch. You can no longer use his emotes. There's also reports coming in that Twitch is canceling people's subscriptions oh, to yeah. Doc's Twitch channel, which oh, further yeah. confirms the fact that he is permanently banned off of the entire platform. And this is crazy because people love Doc, okay? Yeah. He has so many supporters and he has a huge community behind oh, him. Man, and I love the month, Doc. Can't believe he's all getting removed, this month man. Will go to charity. I mean, this guy has done some great things for the Both community, that. so this has left so many people shocked as to what Doc actually did that warranted him to be permanently banned here. Now, speaking of people getting banned on Twitch, the streamer known as Andy here got banned for two weeks on Twitch, and he was upset over this because he doesn't feel like he should have been banned at all. The reason that they gave him for banning him makes no sense, and he posted this on Twitter. It has over 50,000 views. Just watch this. Okay, so guys, um, I just got banned for 14 days for apparently recording in public restroom, which never happened. We went to carting, and there's locked doors for your in properties that you leave before you go carting. So I really hope once I can park this car and appeal, those bats leave. What the actual 14 days that's or for a false report of being in a written bathroom or, or invasion. It was a public oh space. We had every permission to do Now next story today comes from the YouTubers Nell. So Nell posted to their Insta story today showing you that That's apparently insane. they break some guy in the mob. And they were scared for their lives. Oh my god. Just watch this. Doing a video today. They pranked and someone in the mob. Ah. <laughs> shows us pictures 
show Shadow pictures of fucking people with their heads cut off on his fucking phone and says, do we want the same thing? The guy's trying to fucking find us. We're actually bouncing out of Florida, out of the state. Yeah. Steve's coughing a peach for the boys. Yep. Oh we're my not God. LA tonight. That's us. We're doing <laughs> in our pants. Mr. Ernie's happy to go. We are fucking out, boys. And our next story today comes from Jake Paul. So Jake is claiming here that YouTube has apparently shadow banned him. He posted on Twitter saying YouTube has me shadow banned and oh my God. to whoever is subscribed or has post notifications on because the videos are unsuitable for their audience and we're too much of a publicity risk for them. Let's not let YouTube win here. They do this to creators whenever they please, whenever they see a risk, whenever they want to protect themselves. I'm one of YouTube's riskiest creators and they're punishing me for it. And Nerd City responded saying they aren't pushing your mature videos to the 20 million little kids who padded your numbers. What a pickle. Make content they can watch or start a new channel. New channel for 18 plus will probably do well. The YouTuber Coffee Bake responded saying Jake Paul makes mature content. Jake <laughs> yeah. Paul's content gets marked mature. So what YouTubers are saying here is yeah. that Jake's content is no longer kid friendly. He's been making a lot of very mature content recently and even Jake has admitted to this. So it makes sense to a lot of YouTubers as to why YouTube is no longer pushing Jake's videos to kids. Now our next story yeah. today is huge. Okay, so I'm sure many of you know that cancel culture is on the rise right now. Many YouTubers have been canceled for tweets and videos that they've posted in the past and many streamers and youtubers have come out recently and said that they hate cancel culture the streamer xqc tweet out saying cancel this cancel that this offends me that offends me delete this delete that soon we're going to be stuck inside with nothing to enjoy anymore on the internet so the well-known streamer hassan tweet out saying controversial take but if you demonstrated that videos you made nine years ago don't represent your worldview anymore the people who throw that back at your face even after you hit those videos are not doing it out of care for progress they're just assholes the youtuber mm. ksi tweet out today saying the only one that can cancel you is you. Now KSI's brother and the YouTuber Deji tweet out saying we need to cancel cancel culture. KSI responded here saying mm. you made a whole video trying to cancel me. Mm. So KSI is still definitely upset with his brother here for those videos that he made on KSI a while ago. Now one YouTuber who people tried to cancel recently is known as Jenna Marvel. She made a video yesterday where she shared some of these controversial videos that she's uploaded in her past and Jenna yeah. Marvel's apologized for these videos here. And many people supported Jenna Marvel's in this because they feel like this was just totally wrong and she shouldn't be canceled for things that she did a decade ago that she clearly yeah, does not mean insane, today. Man. Now one of the biggest I'm YouTubers pretty upset came out today and he posted about the Jenna Marvel situation. On. He posted to his YouTube channel that Jenna Marvel was one of the most genuinely good people on this platform and now she gets to think off the side by mistakes that happened 8 to 10 years ago. Sure. Hopefully his no YouTube channel is still the there. Today. And I guarantee Dr. Disrespect now that he's permanently banned from Twitch, he'll probably right. switch to YouTube. The line is drawn up from the past and today seems non-existent. I thought the point was to learn from your mistakes and do better. I'm pretty sure he's we still doing all right on YouTube. No one in the world is perfect. This site will be filled with nothing but douche tubers who don't care while the people who do get pushed out. So disappointed with the internet and how far things have gotten, and of course these are the headlines as well. And PewDiePie went on to post some very deceiving mainstream news articles about the Jenna Marble situation here. Now another major old school YouTuber known as Niga Higa recently ended up coming out about the situation. So even to be out here saying, if Niga Higa quits YouTube next, I guess I have to end my YouTube account. Ryan was the first person I ever subscribed to. The second was Jenna Marbles. Life is going backwards at this point. Hashtag thanks 2020. Now Niga Higa responded saying, uh, well, and people are now asking, is Niga Higa really going to completely quit YouTube? I mean, that would be so scary because he was literally the number one most subscribed YouTuber for a long time on YouTube back in 2012. Mm -hmm. Now the YouTuber Sky Williams tweeted about the Jenna Marvel situation yeah. today. He says, this Jenna Marvel is going on with up. YouTube We need now. to celebrate reform and change instead of condemning Jeez. the past. She has proven that she's grown. She's been in zero drama, donates time and money to animal shelters. She showed her growth in her work in life. Free her. Sky then posted a video to Twitter here where he talks about his experience with Jenna Marbles. I can't even. I just, I'm so mad, y'all. Like, Jenna Marbles, I grew up on this bitch. And of course, I use bitch in the way that's most honorable. Um, she came to my house, filmed a fighter give up with me. She came, she drove like 90 minutes. I thought she would flick. No! She came, we had a great time. And then it was like, I thought she was gonna like, mm. I, thought, I, I don't know what I thought she was gonna be. Mm. I just never expected to meet her. And then she became, she was amazing. And God, her boyfriend is hot. House, filmed a fighter give up with me. 
She can't. She drove like 90 minutes. Yeah. I she said report down. on some more stories there than Grandma did. And then it was like, I thought she was going to like, I don't know what I thought she was gonna do. Drama or didn't do it. And then she became amazing. Yeah. And God, her boyfriend is hot. Good lord. Okay, but back on topic. <laughs> I don't see how, like, we're getting on her when, like, this exists. Yeah. I butcher Japanese. controversial videos from Shane Dawson here and Shane has been getting a lot of hate yeah. recently okay now obviously I'm sure many of you guys know that Shane was involved in drama earlier this week but new videos have resurfaced that were extremely controversial some of the things that Shane said here were so disturbing that I don't even know if I can share them with you guys in this video her main tweet out here saying I don't care how old these clips are the amount of actual predatory behavior Shane Dawson has been involved in for a decade on YouTube is disturbing this is a conversation with a 12 year old girl now he shares a clip here where Shane Dawson is talking to 12 year old girl about some very mature, just disturbing stuff, to be honest. And Primate responded saying earlier in this video, they try to start the same conversation, but stop because the girl's mom was present. The video then jumps to them alone with the girl, and this clip takes place. So there was another adult in the room while this situation took place in Shane's video. And Primate tweeted out saying the woman in the video is Shane Dawson's ex-girlfriend, Liza Schwartz. She's 100% an accomplice in this video and should be also held responsible. So Shane's ex-girlfriend, Liza, got so much hate today over the situation that she had to address this on her Twitter account. She said, here, I want to address the 10-year-old clip from Shane's channel of myself and Shane talking to his cousin. It was absolutely inappropriate and not funny. Watching it back now, it makes my skin crawl, and I am so sorry I was part of this gross bit. Before I came here to say this, I thought it was more important to reach out to both Shane's cousin in the video and her mom to apologize in real life. After all, they are the ones most affected by it. They were both gracious and welcoming. They accepted my apology and reassured me that they both remembered that moment was indeed a plan and considered yeah. a joke, albeit terrible. I have grown over these past 10 years as a creator and a woman, aiming to bring content that inspires and brightens an often bleak world. I promise to always yeah, be better and be better. On? So then for me to be out here saying that the last few days Shane has been on a mass deleting spree of all of his older videos. I urge people to go back and start mass demoing his older videos to look over. This clip is one of many. So this old controversial content from Shane comes from his second channel. And this channel is now inactive. He hasn't uploaded to it for over three years. But people found out recently that Shane is mass deleting old content on this channel. He's deleted over 38 million views worth of content on oh, this yeah. channel within the last month. And now Shane has uploaded a video to his main channel here where he apologizes for his actions and tries to take accountability. Just watch this. So first, let's start with blackface. Blackface was something that I did a lot. Like, so, uh, for about a decade old, and this tweet has over 28,000 Guys, that is a freaking video. It's crazy that <laughs> Scarce did get more news stories and drama. They're, they're really competing pretty hard. Because uh, before, I would only see freaking drama alert uh, end up. Uh, drama alert was like not really putting out as much stories as Scarce, but now drama alert's really on trying to compete with Scarce pretty well. Pretty interesting to see. We have a very sad doctor disrespect got for getting banned. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank, uh, thank you guys for all the support. Like and subscribe. Until next time, peace out.